Time now for the last of our Dunedin mayoral candidate interviews and incumbent Mayor Dave Cull joins us. Good evening. Good evening. Dave, how long have you lived in Dunedin? 48 years. Oh, specific. Why are you running for the mayoralty again? Well, council has achieved an enormous amount in the last two terms, the two terms that I've been mayor. And I want to consolidate and accelerate that progress. For instance, the economic development strategy has really um, paid off. We've got more jobs, we've got more businesses, we've got way more visitors. Uh, the GDP has risen, uh, gone up. Uh, and the new environment strategy needs resourcing and needs really pushing along. So um, I, I want to be there to consolidate and accelerate that progress we've already made. Tell us about the leadership experience that you bring to the table. When I came in as mayor in 2010, we faced some massive challenges. The debt was going through the roof. We were facing double-digit uh, double digit rate rises. The community was completely split over the stadium. The council companies had borrowed $40 million that they hadn't earned to pay dividends to a council which was pressuring them. The council itself was uh, inefficient and um, not, very, um, not very transparent. Uh, and over that, over that two-term period, we've fixed or are fixing and we've pretty much fixed all of them. We've got the debt $30 million below what we said it would be right now. Uh, we've, we set very strict rate rise uh, limits and we stuck to them every time. Uh, we've set, sorted out the council-owned companies. The stadium is now contributing really productively to the economy and to the community. Uh, we found over $20 million of efficiencies in council operations and uh, saved that. Uh, but best of all, we developed with the community a strategic vision for the, for the future of the city, like a business plan. And it's got many facets, economic development, community development, environment, arts and culture. And we, we worked that up. Um, and in addition to all of that, we won Gigatown, we're a UNESCO city of literature, the warehouse area has been revitalised, so there's been an enormous amount of progress. So I bring two successful terms as the Mayor. What do you see as the top two issues that are currently facing the city? I think the top two issues, are, the first one is attracting the right age group to the city. People talk a lot about having to increase the population and that, that's fine, it would be good to have more people, but it's probably even more important to get the right balance. At the moment we've got an ageing population and it's a bit thin in the middle. What we need is working and uh, family age group people. So that's the first thing. The second challenge is climate change effects on low-lying areas of the city. You know, we've got, it's predicted that we'll get more severe and more frequent storm events. That overloads our system. We know we're not completely prepared for that. And um, rising sea levels are pushing up groundwater levels in places like South Dunedin. That is a major, that is the challenge mm. of the future. Now, in your view, what are the core functions of the council? First one is the obvious one we take for granted, services like roads and drains and sewage and water and that kind of thing. The second is forging the future, um, working with the whole community to develop the business plan, develop the vision, where we want to go. It's a very fast changing world nowadays and communities have to take uh, charge of their own future and councils can't do that, but councils are the only uh, institution, if you like, in a, in a community that can facilitate that and coordinate it and bring it together and lead that for, with the community. How do you think the current council is performing? I think this is the best council of the three that I have worked with. Uh, it's a diverse council, but it has been overwhelmingly disciplined and united, except for two or three councillors who always seem to want to sabotage things, when, especially progressive things that the community wants. Um, but they've been in the important areas when we've been developing the annual plan, the budgets. It's been a very disciplined, cohesive council that has made some very good decisions and some great progress. Now, if you were to be elected to the mayoralty for another term, what would you do differently? I don't know. I think that clearly council has made some mistakes um, that we are fixing, but we made some mistakes around uh, with the best intentions, cycleway design, etc. Uh, we didn't consult well enough with the community on that. Uh, we've made some mistakes around emergency response uh, in the, the flood situation last year, and we're, we're remedying that. So I, I, would, I would look to those areas. It's planning and uh, communications that we probably need to work a bit harder mm. on. What do you think is the most important function of the Mayor? or leading the, leading the development of the big picture vision, the business plan for the city. Um, marshalling a robust consensus on council to put the community's vision into place and then getting agreement on resourcing that, budgeting for that. So it's about um, 
developing a, a plan for the future with the community and then leading the, the implementation mm. of that. Do you have the skills to lead the, the council for another term? I think I've already proven that. <laughs> what do you th uh, think about Dunedin's future? Where does it lie? I think in a business sense it lies in the um, creative sector, IT, design, um, low weight product, that kind of thing. And I think the other uh, big asset we've got is our fantastic environment. Uh, it's, it contributes enormously to our lifestyle quality and that is really what sells the city. What will attract businesses and people to the city is lifestyle. You can give them rates relief and all sorts of things but it doesn't matter a damn. What matters is what will attract people here. So our environment, our recreational uh, and cultural offering is second to none in the country. We have to look after it. What do you love about Dunedin? Oh, I was thinking about that. when I uh, Look, there's so many things. Um, the peninsula, the harbour, uh, our, cu our cultural institutions, you know, the art gallery, Toy 2, the university, it's a, it's a gem. Uh, I just think the variety, just like I said earlier, the, the lifestyle offering, just what, w you need to get out of Dunedin to a few other cities mm. to find just how much we are offered here. And, uh, and I can skite about the fact that our rates are the lowest of any metro in the country and the in the lowest quarter of the whole of, of New Zealand. Now, the big question, why should the residents and ratepayers of Dunedin vote for you? Because I've proven that I can lead a council that meets major challenges, overcomes them, takes the city forward in a positive direction, and we need continuity of leadership to maintain that momentum. Dunedin Mayor and Mayoral Candidate Dave Cull, thanks very much for your time.